What? You haven't introduced me yet. Will you shut up? No. I mean, yes. Hi everyone, my name is Sam, and welcome to another episode of our 3D printing tutorials. In this episode, we will introduce our tinkering printers. Students in project courses can gain access to the Tinker and 3D printers by asking their TA for a token, like this, and use it at McLeod 315 to access the Tinkering printers. For jobs longer than 3 hours, students need to submit an online request and we will print it for you. For other ECE sponsored projects, which include the faculty, graduate students and some student teams, you need to submit an online request to access the printers. For all other purposes, email 3d at eceubc.ca. The Tinkerin's 3D printing technology is called Fused Deposition Modeling. It uses a thermoplastic filament, which melts when being heated, and then it is extruded layer by layer to build a 3D object. The filament is the print material, and it is located at the back of the printer. The bed is the platform where the part will be printed on. The nozzle extrudes the melted filament and it can reach a temperature above 200 degrees Celsius. The control panel consists of an LED screen and the dial, which monitors the setting and status of the printer. For example, you can calibrate the bed, start or stop the print job using the panel. Before the print, there are three steps. Number one, make sure the bed is calibrated. If not, use the bed level wizard on the printer to calibrate it. Number two, set up the printer. Load filament by following the steps on the printer's wizard. Also, apply glue on the bed. Number three, on your computer, use the Tinkerin software to select the print preferences, including the definition and density, and slice it into a G file. This file should be stored in a memory card and inserted in the printer. Monitor the printing process for the first couple layers and make sure that the print material is sticking to the bed and it is creating a solid base. After the print, scrape off the part and turn off the printer. For more detailed information of each step, please refer to the PDF tutorial available on the ECE Engineering Services website.